Good morning, fellow Martians. It's a beautiful morning here on the harsh surface of Mars, and I'm your host, Gromforks, and today we will be continuing in our pursuit of getting all materials that we need to build a rover. And as you can tell, it's 0725 and we need to put our helmet on. However, in today's episode, I'm hoping that I will be able to get some mining done, get some more materials and do some maybe grinding. We have successfully upgraded our blowtorch and as, as you can tell, it's a Sol 21. So I don't know how did the blowtorch get duplicated. By the way, uh, a lot of you have su suggested that you actually like me doing this vlog style day for day. We'll see if I will be able to keep up because uh, honestly, I think it will be <laughs> a lot more, you know, uh, grinding in terms of grinding, getting uh, getting materials done and so on. But we'll see if it gets starts getting boring. I have uh, recorded already two, three episodes. So those I will actually have to, you know, do a voiceovers and produce, but hopefully I mean, after that, we'll see how it uh, how it takes. Uh, there we go. So, the plan is to get as many materials as we can, and also make sure that our we can maybe build some more solar panels, and we will see if our beetroots are getting better. Because all in all, I don't have anything here, and I won't be doing anything there. I mean, the food has been limiting me so far, and the beetroots are one thirsty buggers. I mean, seriously, guys, look, it has been draining my resources like crazy. So, yeah, I mean, I just hope they're worth it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so, the plan for today, as is, uh, it will be mining and all that jazz. It's like a chill day on the surface of Mars. Uh, I plan to do some more exploring, uh, probably with the confines of one or two episodes, and uh, in the next one or two episodes I actually might even do an overnight stay with, you know, whether it depends on if I manage to build the rover or if I will take just my ATV and the survival capsule and see how we fare. Because I'm really itching for more adventure, I'm really itching to go forward, but all in all, we'll see how it goes. Right. So that being said, I'm my. it appears that my tanks are being filled and some of you that pointed out, thank you for letting me know, yeah, I should build a battery that powers my well as well. That will be happening in one of the future episodes, but for the time being, my main priority is to sh ensure the redundant power supply constantly to the base. Uh, yeah, that being said, I think I could build here. Where was me the botany bench? I think I got it unlocked in the previous episode. Botany workbench, yeah. Do I have everything? I do just really hope so. I think previous ones we didn't have enough, so yeah, this time we have. Good. But the botany workbench is where we will be advancing our botanical science, and I have unlocked the greenhouse. So actually, oh no, did I? I didn't. Then I should probably uh, research the greenhouse as soon as possible. Because I really want to move my stuff out of the workshop. Because, well, you know, in the greenhouse then we have like a dedicated for growing and everything. And of course it's a power hungry bugger. But uh, it will actually allow us to use our workshop for workshop rather than botany. Yeah, it will be one nice place to put everything. And solar panel, I think we, I really want to go and build more solar panels. I'm really, really heavily constrained by the amount, by the fact that I don't have large solar panels. That is actually one of my priorities and one of the main reasons why I want to go on exploration trips. Uh, once I get the bigger solar panels, then the exploration trips should take a, you know, sidestep in terms of me more focusing on getting the rover, getting the rock crusher, so that I can actually do some more significant amount of mining. The jackhammer is really good and it provides, a, and it's pretty quick, but the resource yield that it produces is extremely low compared to the mining using the rover. So that's why I want to get rover and that part of the economy, or not economy, but well, roving and crushing more up to speed. And also it will allow me to travel while mining, so I think it would make for a little bit more dynamic gameplay. This way I'm actually kind of locked in, so yeah. Okay, well that's enough me rambling, so what do we need to do? Oh yeah, of course, sticking my fingers into the... Okay, right, good, done, Woo! 
Okay, that felt refreshing. So now let's take in some cables and I think we, there are last two ports available. So if I want to build more, I'll need to build a second extension or actually I might build in a second, complete second set. So some of you guys pointed out instead of increasing the, this battery capacity, I could build a second battery and put it in parallel, which I think is a brilliant solution, guys. Honestly, that was like aces and yeah. I wholeheartedly agree. So when it comes to base robustness, yes, one more battery with one more parallel electricity system would be awesome and I will be progressing to adding it. First, I actually need to print some cables because, well, you know, I'm talking all about all grand plans, but Gromforks, you don't have a two meter cable. Yeah, typical me. My head is in the clouds and up my ass. Right, okay, so that being said, now let's build the cables and let's connect things and then we will be thinking about food and all that wonderful stuff yeah right there we go okay and what do we got equalizing pressure so let's go wrap up that additional cable because the, uh, one solar panel is currently not connected to this look at this i have a whole huge field of them by the way, guys, those of you who are actually also playing Occupy Mars, how long did it take you to get medium solar panels? Did you just get lucky or it, it took you quite a grind and you went too far away and all that? I'm really interested to hear in the comments below. Right. So, yeah, battery pack upgrade might as well, you know. The, the more battery we have, the more redundant we will be. Uh, of course, I will at some point need to move this small one, but... Uh, Let's, let me see, do we have another battery pack? I don't think we can build any more. No. And I th think this battery is quite beefy, so I'll just probably gonna build another one. It makes sense. L yeah, look, 1.5 megawatt hour. So yeah, or 1,530 kilowatts, kilowatt hour. So I think that should be plenty. We are providing, look, the build, the structure is taking 70. Look how, how hungry it is. I mean, the workshop, two workshops are hungry. So power hungry, really. I, I don't, I don't understand. All right. So that being said, uh, how is my rover doing? It's being charged. Good. So that means it was charging overnight. So that means I should be, have no problems taking the cable. Go replenish my hunger, hydration and all that stuff. And then we should go for some nice and casual mining. After all, you know, well, actually, my hunger and hydration are good, so I don't need to worry about it too much. I really want to go sooner rather than later and start mining because, well, the sun will only be so high in the sky and it's minus 17, you know, minus 15. Okay, the temperature is rising, that's for sure. So, we're looking for... My main component that I want to search is silicone and aluminium because I'll need a lot of those to be able to produce the rover. However, uh, when I can't find a good deposit like this iron was, I'm not going to say no to it. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to mine the bananas out of it, of course. Uh, then I found some aluminium and after some aluminium, look, all this ready to load. This could go on a rover and these are all materials wasted. So instead of like big chunks of aluminium, I'm just getting these tiny chunks. However, once you pick them up, you do get some, so, but look, 76. In theory, I would have gotten hundreds of um, resources. So this is why I'm really trying to prioritize in terms of getting the heavy rover. Right. Okay. Uh, that being said, let's go and mine some more over there because I'm hoping to find silicone. I still haven't found any silicone and that's kind of worries me because silicone is a lot needed for the glass panels and we need a lot of glass plates. We need 60 glass plates. So I went a little bit searching more selectively. I found some good de deposits of aluminium, but it feels like I really should focus on the silicone. So what did we have here? Aluminium, still a decent deposit. Yeah, well, let's go mine. I mean, in theory, it will also, I also want to advance my, you know, mining skill. And uh, because I want to get to the grinder level three, because once I get that, I could grind down all of the bases. And that would give me a lot of resources. For example, you know, grinding down, uh oh, what is this? Solar storm incoming within the next six hours. Okay, I have never experienced solar storm yet, not even in the beta, and I gotta tell you, I'm terrified of it. I heard that it's some ionizing radiation, which of course we need to be careful, but it's, they said it's in six hours. 
So obviously the scientists have observed the solar storm, you know, happening and we get a warning until this particle cloud or, you know, whatever it is, comes and reaches us. So being the panicky dude that I am, I have immediately picked up my shit and said like, oh, okay, I'm running, hoofing along, going home, bye bye. You know, so yeah, went to actually refresh my water supply and everything and then we'll park it here and we need to prepare for the incoming storm. So with that thing being said, let me just quickly, okay, rover, do we want to recharge the rover during the storm? I don't know. By the way, guys, does the solar storm affect your electricity in any sort of negative way? Do you get short outs, uh, circuit breaks or something like that? Or is it just purely radiation and cosmetical? Do let me know in the comments. I will, of course, be interested to hear about it because this is the first time I am experiencing it. So, okay, yeah, full panic mode. Okay, let's see. What do we have? We have this, 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 stamina, stamina, I think I'm good. I have aluminium and iron. I haven't got much more resources, sadly. Okay, let's just refish, refill our reserves. I want to, that everything is on the maximum because I don't know how long the solar storm will last. In theory, it shouldn't last very long. I think sandstorms are or tornadoes last the longest, but you never know. So since this is my first time, I just want to make sure that I've covered. Right, okay, closing the door, there we go. Okay, what do we have now? So, uh, I want to put the resources here so I can produce more content. I have some cement. I should probably build a dedicated savings place for building the rover because no point in me building if I cannot, you know, maintain it and all that jazz. And there's no point of mining with the rover either unless I can actually unless I can actually build all that stuff. Okay, so what do we have? Glass plates. How many can we build? Oh my God, I need 60 and I can build two. Woohoo! Well, clearly you see where this is going. Okay, they, so it's basically sold 21 and that means that we will have the rover at this pace at the sole 121. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna, of course I'm gonna prioritize it, but this will... <laughs> Uh, this is a little slightly disheartening. Okay, and medium circuit boards. I have still haven't gotten any. Okay, 72% beetroot growth. That means that I should not do anything with them. So I'm just trying to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do with myself for the next, like, six, seven hours. Is there any solar storm yet? No? Nope, nothing apparently so. Also, do the solar storms occur during day or night or both? Do let me know in the comments. All right, so let's review our tech tree. We have gotten, I would like, yeah, we're halfway to getting the next point. I would really like to get the night vision, but I don't have the still suit to actually find it. The ATV crate might be actually more useful because it would allow me to go and pack more things, bring more things with me. I wouldn't be so much constrained with the resources. Then we have the blowtorch, which we had already did. Meteor defense looks cool. Grinder. Grinder is the one that I really want to focus on because that one would actually ensure that I can grind down bases. So grinder is my top priority at the moment. I really feel that without it, we won't be able to get built the heavy rover because there are a lot of bases and they have tons of resources in them. So if I grind down, let's say the botany, the main hub and these kind of things, then there's a good chance I might even get enough rovers. And yeah, I need well extension and well tanks because I feel like I want to store the water that we have been producing by the well. Otherwise our botany is just gonna go, you know, flat out, pee and bye. So yeah, living capsule, survival capsule, a lot of things that we need to be built. Electricity, we have one electricity point, and I'm really gated here by the medium solar panels. I really wish that I could get it because I don't care about the rest of the stuff that comes afterwards. Maybe I'm making a big, big mistake, but I really, really want to get just the medium solar panels because when I'm done with that, then I can actually produce more, you know, power and whatnot. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay, has the storm hit yet? Guess not. Okay, what should we do now? I'm thinking it's already getting dark. Not yet. Hold on. 
Could I, in theory, maybe build this secondary battery power source and all that shit? Okay, solar storm. Within the three hours? I have three hours until then? Uh, I mean, come on, seriously. If I have three hours till the solar storm, that means that I can go out and still do shit. I thought like it was imminent. Okay. I didn't know that you would get an additional warning. So, let's see now. We have this battery. They have, everything is being passed through here. The rover is being charged. I actually am not gonna go and give power to the rover now because I want to make sure that all of the power coming in is going out to the botany. I don't want that my beetroots, you know, get messed up. So, I mean, I've put a huge amounts of power and what? Dark? Is this? Yeah, it looks like it's dark. It, yeah, it's 615. Okay, so let's see. I want to build another battery pack, as we said, redundancy. So I'm going to be placing another battery pack. I'm thinking right about here-ish and just going to rotate it this way. Maybe later on I'll move it somewhere else. I don't care. At this moment, I think this is the best place to put another solar field. And I'm going to create a separate... Uh, separate, uh, completely parallel system, so to say. Maybe the having solar fields two in the same place is, you're probably gonna say it's not the smartest idea, ground forks. I mean, looks like you look like a smart guy. Yeah, I know. But uh, this is not the smartest idea. Yeah, I know. However, given the amount of cables that I have and everything else that I have, well, that's something that I'll have to, gonna have to take. Okay, let's connect this. Has the solar storm hit yet? No? Okay. I want to actually that some amount of power, and now there's no power flowing, I know that, but I just want to connect everything to make sure that, well, you know, we are prepared when the morning comes. So, yeah, there we go. Let's connect this guy. Okay, so in theory, the power is flowing that way, and of course no, none of the power that I have directed is going that way because I haven't told it to, which makes sense. No storm yet? No? Okay, fair enough. Now, no radiation. Good. Just wanted to check that because once once it starts, once when this shit hits the fan... Oh! Solar storm incoming within one hour. Okay, now that means that it's imminent. I should probably go and inside. Right. So if it's now seven, that means at eight it should hit us. Equalizing pressure, let's go. External oxygen detected. Okay, this is our botany. Did we advance the botany part, maybe? No? Alright. I'm really nervous. Oh, and we have only 493 power. Oh, shoot. Well, that kind of sucks. And 11 water? Oh, boy. That means our plants are gonna be thirsty. Okay, is there any way I could conserve power? Think, ground forks. Think. Because 467, that's not gonna last the entire night. I need basically at least 700 to 800 for it to last the entire night. Watch out, solar storm strikes. All right, uh, tell you what I'm gonna do. Okay, these are still consuming power. I was thinking, well, if the solar storm was hitting, wouldn't I be getting any more like, uh, you know, power, electricity? I don't know, okay, oh, look, it's green. Ooh, spooky. Sleep deprivation warning, get some rest. Yeah, I cannot get the rest while the solar storm is out. I mean, work with me over here, come on. Yeah, scary music, what can I tell you? I'll take a screenshot for at least, you know, will be screenshot for the episode. I guess I will haven't uh, done a lot of things, but okay. So tell you what I'm gonna do, reducing my power signature. Let's stop the scrubber. That should basically reduce the amount of power that we need to... I'm trying to reduce the power drain. Because if I manage to reduce the power drain, that means that the plants will have longer period. Okay, um, just to figure out, I think I'm gonna do... The solar storm is passing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna shut off the food processing unit. I'm gonna disassemble it, grind it down. I mean, there's no real consequence if I grind it down, so I'm grinding it down, and then I'm gonna go to sleep, and the next time morning I wake up, I'm gonna go and, and reconstruct it. I guess that's fine. So, no, I'm not gonna reconstruct workbench, although the, the thought has crossed my mind. All right, uh, well, this has been a slow and yet terrifying episode. Look how our is our power drain. I'm really screwed, and I... Okay, well... 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna sleep with the hoodie on. I'm not gonna take down my, you know. All right, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Let's go to sleep. Good night.